timing of Chris Holtman's hire kind of late traditionally, but it does, didn't seem to bother this program one bit. Opening tap controlled by Nebraska underway here in Columbus. Anton Gill with the ball starting his third straight game and now the aforementioned Roby driving lost it and doing that's play perimeter defense. Now Watson good kick in the corner Palmer's first chance doesn't go off the rim and Wesson rips down that rebound James Palmer Jr. He's played great overall this season especially though in conference play. Yeah, he's, he's a volume scorer. So you have to always pay attention to what he's doing. Because he's opportunistic with his op with his ability to score the basketball. It's Isaac Copeland early on. Barry with the Iowa Hawkeyes won his first 11. Watson got Wesson up. He'll drive off the mark. Tapped out a couple of times. And Watson collects the loose ball. This is Gill for three. And... Kata Bates D off the rebound. Some good luck for the Huskers, but yet to score. Yeah, and that offensive rebounding is key for them. Nebraska, one of their Achilles heels, getting on the glass on both ends. That smaller lineup that they've been playing more of lately, is that a factor? Yeah, it is. And, you know, their guards have to come back in and clean up when they're going small like that. Now, Roby, he kind of rips that ball away from Wesson. Cam Williams the miss. Williams has been shooting the ball at a very high rate. 61% from the field, Cam Williams, in Big Ten play alone. Now Palmer against Kata Bates. Diop and scores a strong take. And James Palmer Jr. averaging 16 per game as the first two tonight. Corey Palmer is smooth, and he's long. He looks like he's gliding, but he's getting past his defenders. He's got great length to be able to finish at the rim. C.J. Jackson to Big 12, Nebraska 2008, when they knocked off Kansas State and Texas A&M consecutively. And they got the matchup they wanted again. I'm not sure that's the shot Tim Miles would have preferred. Well, you got the big fella on an island. You can't bail him out with a contested three. You got to put him on skates. Pass inside, forced, and absolutely nothing. He can, he can play the point. He can, he can post up. He scores, he blocks shots, he rebounds. He does it all. Deshaun Tate off the glass, left it short. The rebound inside, but first fight. Yeah, they're going to switch. They're going to double team on the post. They're going to do a lot of different things. C.J. Jackson, great look for three. And Wesson position, shoots over Roby and scores. Boy, Caleb Wesson's already lost 60 pounds since high school. And this summer is going to be critical for him because if he can get in better shape and tighten up his body, man, he is a handful. Coming off a 15.8 rebound performance in the win against Minnesota on Saturday in New York City. Palmer into the corner. Watson doesn't go. Copeland the tip inside. It's knocked out. Lasko started the first 18 games. He's been coming off the bench lately. Did not play against Penn State and Illinois. Was away from the program for a brief period of time as he pondered his future in Lincoln. Ada Bates Diop for three. Old shooting all around. Ohio State, one of its first five. The Huskers, one of their first six from the field. Hey, give it to Chamanga. Let the big fella eat a little bit. Against Weston, who has one foul already. Shot clock under 10. Palmer challenging, and he is fouled, and we'll see. He was injured often last year. And all these guys have bought in, Corey. You know, they starting to really hit their stride. And they can go small because Palmer and Copeland's link allow them to put Roby at the five. There's Palmer making two free throws. He's great at getting to the free throw line. Here at the top in the Big Ten in that department. Jay Sean Tate will attack off the glass and scores over Chamanga. That's a grown man basket right there. I mean, he hit bodies with Chamanga. Didn't matter. The senior graduate, Jay Sean Tate. Tate shooting 55% from the field. Entry pass from Copeland Tip and a turnover. That was excellent defense by Michael Potter. Forced the ball handler to go back the other direction. And now 
the Buckeyes give it right back. Watson, can he hang on to it? He does along the baseline. Now Copeland trailing, catching in, buries the three. Oh, that's opportunistic offense for Nebraska. That double team forced a turnover. Good decision by Glenn Watson. Well, he mentioned Micah Potter. Caleb Wesson, two fouls on the bench. So Potter seeing early action in the post. Fade away over Chamanga. Nebraska will give Potter that shot all day. All day long, and you know, he's letting Chamanga off the hook by going with the fade. Chamanga cleans up the miss and scores. Even though he was away for about four days away from the program, Tim Miles told us today, Jordan Chamanga is not being penalized. He's not starting because the smaller lineup has simply been more effective with a run that Nebraska's been on. And you know what? When he scored, he pointed at Tim Miles, and Miles pointed back to him, and they both smiled. That says a lot about him coming back into the fold. Buckeyes now two of eight from the field to start. Palmer. The kick, Gill, great look for three. And Keita Bates D off the rebound. Now Tate in traffic with the offhand is fouled. For Nebraska, Evan Taylor, senior, on the floor for the first time for the Huskers. Let's see if this lineup, smaller lineup for Ohio State now. Older Wesson in the, in the post. Triple team Chimaga somehow got the pass out to Palmer. Contested three. James Palmer doesn't like easy <laughs> shots. He likes hard <laughs> shots. I mean, waiting for the defense to get set. He is, he's got that clutch gene, and now the one through one defense from Nebraska. The game winner, not long to go against Illinois. Wesson skip pass tipped. Thomas Allen was out of bounds. Great point in the Big Ten Conference, and they need one of these big road wins against ranked teams to really raise their profile. Jackson with the shot clock winding down. Had a force up top and rattled out. And Chris Holman said those exact words to us today. He believes Nebraska is an NCAA team right now. Chimanga had a strip by Dockage as he played well. And passed up to three. Yeah, Doc has just meant a, a lot to this team. He's a connector. He wants to be a coach, so he's got another set of eyes. Smooth spin and finish there for Jay Sean Tate. Did that against the sophomore Roby. Jay Sean Tate's a warrior. I mean, if I'm if I'm hooping, I want him on my squad. <laughs> against Tate, no double team, but the left hand. I like the decision by Nebraska. They, they say that Jay Sean Tate cannot check Chamanga one-on-one on the post. Chamanga last time went, Dockers got the steal. This time he looked, no one was coming. He took his time to score. Listen off the fake. It's Tate inside, it's blocked by Roby, and a whistle, and... A foul. Chamunga on the bench. His second foul out of the timeout. Peter Bates Diop with the bucket. You thought that would be the play. Oh, yeah. You got to have your, your best player, your upperclassman, step up in these situations, give your team a boost. Get him in a one on one situation and let him go. Maybe the best mid range game in all of college basketball for it. He's the Big Ten in scoring, third in rebounding, averaging roughly 20 per game in conference play alone. Palmer not too far behind those numbers. This is there. And that's when Palmer puts his team in trouble. He dribbled about 12 seconds that possession. Didn't go anywhere. And shot a ball, fadeaway contested three. That's not going to get it done on the road. Jallo, freshman from Bloomington, Indiana. Floor for Ohio State, shot clock late. Jackson, he sees it, he'll drive. Oh, left it short and Roby clears. Second rebound for Roby. Jackson's got to finish that. He's not going to get many better looks this evening against this length of Nebraska. Copeland off the skip. 
spun out. And a gun for Nebraska. Now they have a favorable matchup. K to base D up. Evan Taylor's a, an elite defender, but doesn't have the height. Instead of Jackson, opposite side of the floor where K to base D up is, and now he has it. The turnaround. It's a good defensive sequence that time for Nebraska. Yeah, you can see why Nebraska gave Michigan fits because they can switch everything. They have a lot of guys similar size, and so every now and then they'll get Thomas Allen or Glenn Watson Jr. stuck on a big. But they do so much helping that it doesn't hurt them as much. Roby double team. Allen for three. Another miss. Nebraska now two of ten from three. To start the night. Well, they've had some good looks though, Corey. I mean, a couple of them have been halfway down and popped back out. And now a poor pass that time. From Dockage. Picked away by Copeland. And Allen is out of no one expected K to base Diop to do what he's doing. I knew he was always, yeah, I knew he was always that, that good. It was just a question of whether he knew how good he could be. And a foul. Yeah. And a foul. He's putting up great numbers. He's seeing very tough defenders, double teams often, so I think those go hand in hand. Oh, this is the Big Ten, Corey. You can get on a run for a few games, but you can't run through the gauntlet without teams adjusting and double teaming you, being physical with you, and he's got to overcome that. Nebraska hasn't scored in more than three and a half minutes, leading by three, Copeland fouled, and... By the south move. And Corey, when, when he's looking for his shot, Nebraska's very difficult to beat. I mean, you got Watson who can hit you off the bounce, Palmer can hit you off the bounce, Anton Gill, one of the better three-point shooters in the conference. And when Copeland is rolling, Nebraska has multiple options. Caleb Weston back on the floor, Steven, two fouls. So, Coach, Holtzman, Holtman rolling the dice a little bit. Back is the miss, Weston. To the chest of Chamonga, that's a tough break for Nebraska. But Michael Potter is getting ready to come back in the game. Doing. He's rolling the dice a little bit. And I come from the old school era. You get two fouls in the first half. I don't care if you're a freshman or senior. Just sitting. Long jumper. The win against Michigan on Thursday to put that into perspective. The entire game. They attempted 11 threes the entire game. Yep. They want paint touches. Ideal. Tate, how pretty was that move? And he's got an advantage being a lefty to begin with. Left-handers are always more difficult to guard. He's been through the Big Ten wars before. You want your upperclassmen to help you ride out these rough patches. Hey, Sean Tate, seven of Ohio State's 15 points. And now a rebound to go with that. His third rebound. Potter the miss. Ohio State is yet to get guys in and really play situational basketball to get them through the first half. Deal another good look for three. Had Cam Williams flying in his face. Uh, maybe not. I would, I'd go back to Palmer right now with Jay Sean Tate guarding him. So KK two fouls. This will put Ohio State with a bonus for an 35 this half. Boy, great action in this offensive possession by Ohio State. Seven to shoot. Kate of D off a double team. Tate slashing. Blocked by Roby. Roby went up high with the block, and now Palmer's big again. <laughs> Those are not his teams. Oh, it was hilarious, too. Was not happy with what happened with the Jaguars yesterday. Knocked out of bounds. They the four professional teams that Isaiah Roby cheers for. Jacksonville Jaguars, the Portland Trailblazers, the Washington Capitals, and the Philadelphia Phillies. Gill, another miss, and Copeland the foul. Concerned with the number of games Ohio State has played, but Corey, you know I, I'm not. I'm not hearing that. 
I'm old school in that regard. You're not selling Stephen Bardo on that narrative. No, I tried today, and that was a mistake. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to hear that. Man. So it's going to be a heck of a matchup anyway. It's the only meeting of the regular season between the two. Purdue does not come here. This one three one usually gives Nebraska a nice spark. The alley oop love, and that's how the Buckeyes take their first lead. Get their leading score going. Huskers haven't scored no field goal. In fact, they have a free throw or two, but there's the first field goal in roughly six and a half minutes. Palmer now with nine. Now they switch back to a man to man through the Huskers. See if they can take advantage of getting Kata Base D out one on one. Jackson, the kick in the corner. Out of out, early fell for Weston. Jackson to save to Cam Williams. From the elbow, the leader. And Roby goes up high. With a rebound. His fourth rebound. Roby hasn't scored yet tonight. Against Jay Shaw Tate. Good defense, but better offense there from Roby. That's a heck of a move by Roby. That link over the top of Tate allowed him to finish. Nice response for Nebraska. And Ohio State took the lead on that dunk. Under four to go in the half. Good floor spacing for Ohio State. Just couldn't get the ball in. They're playing tonight, still to come tonight. Later on, it'll be Illinois against Michigan State. Entry pass. Stolen by Taylor, trying to throw it off Williams, but off the deflection, it comes up top to Keita Bates Dia. Well, Taylor's been close a couple of times. Yes, he has. He is so aggressive on the defensive end. He's wrestling with those two fouls. And Taylor Borchardt. Well, he's got such good touch. Knows what he wants to do. He can go over either shoulder. And he's having an outstanding first season with the Buckeyes. Taylor around Wesson. Lifted up his hands, trying not to foul, and did not. And now Jackson, he can fly. And poor pass there from Kata Base Diop, and there's the steal for Taylor. Kata Base Diop got back to bother that shot. And last touch by Nebraska. Farm halftime report coming up. Just under three minutes of action. Now Tate. Put off there by Roby. And turnover. Hamlet's second straight Ohio State turnover. Hill is yet to score tonight. 0 4 from the field. Palmer has been the story offensively, and that three rattled out. And Williams the rebound. Weston double team slips it to Tate and Tate to miss and Roby to rebound. Nebraska shooting 30% from the field, Ohio State 32. Glenn Watson, no. Borkarts follow, no. Kate Bates Diop rips it away. Red Blake looks, it's Jackson flying and scooping his score, and the Buckeyes lead by one. What an excellent decision by C.J. Jackson, knowing that he had to go in with a reverse to avoid the block. Final 90 seconds. Two defenders, Watson, his three too strong, and Roby the rebound. And a fresh shot clock. I know these guys see this at the NBA level, but everybody's throwing their head back like they're getting hit with a two by four. I wish they stopped faking. Too easy. Smart. Take there from Palmer. Weston with those two fouls, not going to draw number three, so kind of backed off. And Palmer now with 11. Yeah, it's good recognition by Palmer knowing his team. Need a bucket, like you're saying, knew that Wesson wasn't going to challenge. Jackson pull that ball away. Tate off the fake. Sets up Jackson. Great look up top. 
That whole play was set up by a simple shot fake by Jay Sean Tate. Did a good job. He got the defense in rotation, made the right decision to give to C.J. Jackson. Ohio State missed on its first six from three. That one falls. The lead is two. About six seconds separates the two clocks. Palmer, can he answer? No. Shot clock is off. Ohio State can hold. I'd let C.J. break down the defense. Drive and kick. Three seconds. Tate got it off. And that's the first half. Jackson based Diop, Wesson, Tate, and Williams. The help was coming. There's no need to reach in that situation. Palmer's five for Nebraska. Base Diop brought it low, lost it. And now it's Watson. Base Diop, six points, took five shots in the first half. I'm wondering, Corey, if either team is really loose and warm. Both of them didn't come back out until about three minutes left in the, in the half. And they're playing this that way. Yeah, just grazed the front of the rim. Nebraska now two of 16 from three as a team. A lot of times when you start to play, you want to get a lather of sweat. All these guys, their bodies are dry right now. Wesson follows his own miss. Jay Sean Tate. Ohio State on the glass. Wesson a couple of chances, then Tate played it up. Tate has nine. Ohio State, its biggest lead of four. You're going to see Ohio State get on the offensive glass here in the second half. It's one of Nebraska's weaknesses, rebounding the basketball. And the bench. Averaging roughly 16 per game. He has 13. Let's see what Ohio State can do to get Bates D out some space. Last couple times he's been double teamed. Tate to slip to Wesson. Chamanga's fourth. And he will stay on the floor. Well, one final in from the Big Ten. If you saw it in FS1, Indiana beat Maryland 71-68. So the Hoosiers win at home. Ballmer along the baseline. Stepped out. He's outside of Purdue. Playing as well as any in the conference. And this is a critical juncture for Nebraska right now. Ohio State scores here. Don't be surprised if Tim Miles gets a timeout. Database D up for three. And a whistle inside. Let's... Lynn Watson Jr. Still struggling. Now 0 of 6 from the field. Nebraska's made three field goals the last 14 minutes, so dating back well into the first half. Only three made field goals. They're selling for a lot of jump shots. Not Palmer seems to be the only one that's able to get into the, the uh, lane. Williams the miss. Ohio State as a team also struggling. In the field, three-point land, and now Chamon. Dubio KK can come in and pretty much provide the same role. Definitely think Chamon is a better scorer. Though. Copeland with the three. His second made three tonight. He has eight. Sorry, man. And it's a two-point game. He caught that cleanly. That's a layup. And a little bit with how successful that smaller lineup can be for Nebraska. It definitely does. Wesson splits two lead. Caleb Wesson. Hill and Watson awfully quiet offensively. Palmer hasn't been and adds to it. His 15. His footwork when he's handling the basketball court is so good. He can stop, start, switch up while he's still handling the rock. Very unique skill set. Tate draws the double 
team with nine to shoot. Brought it low. Taylor trying to rip it free, but Tate got it back. Bates D off with four. And Watson fouls with three on the. Well, besides that last game against Northwestern, Ohio State had been blasting teams. Jackson with seven. CJ Jackson's made some timely plays. End of the first half, he got that three to drop. Big, big time shot. Ohio State for the first time in a matchup two three zone. Gill, he's had a rough night, but that floater falls. It was 0 4 from the field before that one. Went down for Anton Gill, senior from Raleigh. You can tell he's a senior because that long range jump is not working. Get a little bit closer and get some confidence. Anton Gill and Isaac Copeland, teammates on this Nebraska team, were also teammates playing AAU ball together. Jay Shaw take too deep and too easy. Great call to get CJ Jackson the screen for Jay Shaw Tate. There's a mix up there defensively. Ohio State Gill had a wide open look, but his three point shooting woes continue. Now Jackson slashing and fouled. And Watson whistled for his shade. Taylor's defense. Nice wrinkle that year. But then as he began his Big Ten career last year, not the same amount of success. His three point shooting numbers were down last year, but much improved his second year here with Ohio State. And last year, Ohio State didn't really share the ball like they're sharing this season. They had a couple guys that. Mark Loving, you know, sometimes you get seniors who are kind of worried about what they're going to do after their stage in college. Roby trying to. Palmer over Tate from the wing. That's a tough matchup for Jayshon Tate. He's looking over the bench, throwing his hands up. But he's a senior. You got to get over that screen. Palmer's, Palmer. the, Palmer's the hottest guy in the building. Yeah, game high 18 points. Tate lowers that right shoulder, spins around Gill. Yeah, they cleared it out. That's how. Uh oh. And now Jay Shaw Tate's an obvious discomfort right now. And a whistle will halt him. Pass inside. Palmer throw that to Nolan. And Dockage up the floor. The lob to Young. Between the rim and the glass. Between these two teams, that's the way this has gone in recent years. The last three meetings between these two teams have been decided by a total of five points. Palmer fouled before the shot. As he was trying to lift, so that he could get back quicker. Taylor against Dockett shoots over him. Devin Taylor's go-to move. One bounce left hard into a jump shot. He was pretty confident when Doc had switched on to him. His first two, Taylor averaging seven per game and back to a two-point game. Ohio State running a little flex action right now. Lawson Jr., great defense, denying C.J. Jackson the ball. Kata Bates Diop, a deep three off the heel and Copeland the rebound. That's a strong defensive stand for Nebraska. Yes, it is. Caleb Weston will check back in at the next whistle. And have a break of the action, though, before that happens. Under 10 for Palmer. With five, baseline, and scoops and scores, and we're tied at 38. James Palmer can score, baby. I'm telling you, <laughs> the whole team and everybody in the gym knew what he was trying to do, and he's still able to do it. He has 20 of Nebraska's 38, and all even. Now Jackson in traffic, lost it, saved it somehow to Dockage. Kata Bates Diop over Copeland. Well, that's hustle right there. Ohio State just making a way where there was none. Watson, I guess the taller Young stays low. Acrobatic shot, no, and hits the up the rebound. 
Cal Young never left his feet while defending, and thus no foul. Good discipline by the young fella right there being switched out on Watson. One on one against Taylor. Bates Diop in traffic to reach that milestone. See his last three games, the, the shooting numbers haven't been great. Still at 17 points to 21 shots in the win of the Gophers on Saturday. And who's Nebraska going to look to? Right there. One on one. Uh -oh. Over Bates Diop, and it rolls through. They try to put Weston, 6'7, a little bit stronger. Doesn't matter. You put Kate's Beta D up on him. Same result. Gets it back and somehow able to get the finger roll to four. There's high stepping inside on Ohio State. So Palmer now with 23. His Texas San Antonio on December 20th. We should shatter that tonight as he makes one of two a three-point game. This has really grinded to a half-court game. Every possession seems to pick up more importance as we go deeper into the second half. Who's going to execute the best in the half-court? Against the sophomore, Roby shoots over him. Too strong. And off the tip, it's Roby corralling the rebound. Watson hasn't scored yet tonight. You can tell, too, because every time he gets the ball, he's looking to shoot. That's the 20th three-point attempt tonight for Nebraska and Steven. They've only connected on four. Yeah, see, I, you know, I know that's, that's open, but it's open for a reason right now. And off that, Bates Diop inside the dunk, and he's quietly up to 14. And now Value City making some noise. A five-point lead. Well, top player in the Big Ten right now. Starting to flex his muscles. One-on-one -on -one against Jackson. No whistle. And Watson trying to save it. Throws it off the leg of Jackson. But it stays in play for Dockage. Hey, Sean Tate back on the floor. Good to see for Ohio State. Weston the slip to Tate straight. Got it back. Great fake from Jackson for two. Boy, I tell you what, Nebraska, that might have been their best defensive possession. They were scrambling for it. Got a missed shot and came up to secure the defensive flag. Size met, mismatch inside, but... And Copeland turned it down. He didn't want it. Palmer wants it, and he just tied the game. But I'm with you. Looking down at that possession, it was Copeland against Dockage, and it seemed the ball was on that side of the floor. And I'm, I'm screaming at my teammates in that situation, but James Palmer, the hot hand, saves Nebraska that possession. A new career high for James Palmer, Jr., 26. All tied at 46, under 10 to shoot. Jackson had it blocked by Copeland. With that length of those wings, Palmer, Roby, Copeland really bothers the opposing team. They are locked in defensively. Third Nebraska block tonight. Palmer, can he do it again? Yes! Hitting the deck and delivering nonetheless. Back-to-back -back threes, and the Huskers lead by three. We talked about Nebraska trying to be a tournament team. If you're a tournament team, you got to steal a couple on the road. Man. Holding teams to poor shooting. And that's credit to Nebraska's defense. 39% from the field, 29% from three. Incomparable numbers here tonight. Shot clock late. Bates Diop got it deep and ducks it down. Bates Diop. Diop. With 16 to lead Ohio State. And Chris Holtman knows that James Palmer not going to be very aggressive on the defensive end. He's matched up with K to base D out. That's excellent execution. 
Every time Big Ten Player of the Week has 10 points in the second half, and now a stuff defensively. Dockage floating, K to base, down, two more. The Big Ten's best player is taking over, both ends of the floor. Palmer, can he silence the crowd? Not this time. Dockage to Tate under the basket. Missed it. He thought he was shoved. Up the floor, it's Taylor. Layup good. That's a four point swing there. Jay Sean Tate. And so did the Ohio State bench. Thought there was a foul. No whistle in transition. Taylor and the Huskers by one. They're looking for base D out. They're going to clear out. Tomorrow. He has the last 12 Buckeye points. Pretty good switch that time. Weston, high arc and three. And it finally falls. Weston. And a few that rattled out. That one goes. And it's a two point Ohio State lead. Good old fashioned Big Ten boxing match. These teams throwing a couple jabs. Let's see if there's an uppercut coming. Better offense, too, on both sides this half. Yes. The slip, Taylor. He passed up a shot. Gill for three. Wow. I'm not sure I would have done that, but that's why I'm not playing. <laughs> I thought Gill had a chance there to lay it up and in. Instead, he set up Anton Gill. He's had a rough night shooting the three, but not that time. It was all of his first five. And back and forth we go. Oh, nice move by Tata Bates. Tata Bates deal. Palmer tried to beat him to the spot. He spins. Weston, an excellent lead pass. Boy, this Ohio State team is fun to watch. Bates Diop in conference play, averaging roughly 20 points per game. What does he have tonight? 20. Six to shoot for Palmer. We play on Gill, opposite side. This one, no, tipped out. Numbers for Ohio State, three on one. Weston, Dockage, the lob. Gets Diop, the miss. And Roby rebounds and foul. One and one for Roby. Can't have empty trips if you're trying to steal one on the road. That's toughness right there. You gotta be able to stick at least one of those. up top. Copeland the matchup on Bates Diop. It's Tate though with four. Brought it low. With the shot clock at four. A foul beat. Nebraska through some tough offensive stretch. One and one. 59 percent. How about that? Cedar steps up and buries two. Well Chris Holtman has seen that before. Roosevelt Jones. One of his star players from Butler used to do the same thing. Base Diop. Roby strips. Jay Sean Tate. The defensive play. Excellent hands by Tate without foul. Jackson a crease. Close. So five quick points for Ohio State out of the timeout. That's a two-possession game. It's a 7 nothing run. And now Paul. Con Crispin coming up. Palmer with third. Nebraska going to that 1-3-1. Jackson from the wing for three. And Weston. A one and one. So, Roby missed the front end of the one-on-one, and now it's Weston's turn. 
Getting back to scoring right now for Nebraska. Crunch time. Haven't seen it yet tonight, but we've seen it in the past. And the guy with the ball right now, he's been great the last four minutes of games and overtime periods throughout his Nebraska career. Lynn Watson Jr. and now Nebraska. It's Palmer with five. Copeland with two, has to get it off. And Nebraska doesn't get the shot off. Shot. Ohio's taken. Figure out the creases in this 1 3 1. Weston with seven. Play continues. Tate. With Roby on the deck. Opened up the lane. And Jay Sean Tate found it. Andre Weston back in. Caleb Weston out. Palmer with 31. To Roby. Deep three. Short. Walks in the rebound. He'll fire for three. That's off the mark. Gets D up the rebound. Trapped in the corner and one timeout left. And Wesson is fouled immediately by Colt. So Wesson delivers two. Now I think you almost have to go for three. Jackson will try the two, the miss, the tip, no, and it's knocked out. Pretty good effort that time, now. That's pretty obvious. Deep here pretty soon. From the corner, deep three, no. Doc gets the tip. And Gardner Webb. During his education here with Ohio State. Final 20 seconds. Copeland fell out. Now it comes into the hands of Watson. And now Palmer will try and add on and does. And Nebraska will not foul. And the Buckeyes remain perfect. In Big Ten play, they were challenged. But Ohio State now 9-0 in the Big Ten.